There's a tremendous pressure for information on comparative effectiveness, and while the randomized control trial is a great way to provide answers, there are never enough trials for all the populations and subgroups that are of interest. So we need more data, and recognizing that we need to weed through imperfect data and find out what of that can be used to provide solid information. The question is how can you distinguish which observational studies are reliable enough to be considered in the process of decision making? And for that purpose we started the GRACE initiative, which has to do with good research practices for observational studies of comparative effectiveness. But there are two key features. One of the GRACE principles, which were published in the American Journal of Managed Care in 2010, that describe the practices that help enhance the quality for observational studies of comparative effectiveness. And that was well received, but people keep saying, can't you just give me a set of questions? How can I judge these principles and make use of them in decision making? So we have now with funding from the National Pharmaceutical Council, we have been in the process of validating a checklist of questions that can be used to weed out studies that are of insufficient quality to merit serious consideration in the decision-making process. So we've developed a tool with 12 items. We've used 180 volunteer raters, and we've had uh, maybe a dozen people helping us develop the quality standards. The intent is that it could be used widely by clinicians, by payers, by government bodies. It's different from all the tools that are, guide systematic reviews and meta-analysis. It's focused on the individual study and we think it's going to be very helpful and well received. We welcome people to come join the initiative and to contact us through graceprinciples.org, the website.